In this video, I will uh, introduce the random library, which is a library that allows us to begin to uh, use the random function and uh, be able to generate random numbers in Python. And so what I'll do is uh, walk through an example program that uh, incorporates the random library and uh, plays a game with the user to have that user uh, try to guess the uh, random number and uh, return the number of guesses as well as allow the number to uh, user to quit um, if they want to give up. And so uh, this was an example problem uh, on practicepython.org, which I highly recommend and it is a very good reference. And so uh, to begin with, we start out by um, saying import random. And so what this is going to allow us to do is um, start defining all of the uh, elements that are in the random library that exists in Python. And so what we're going to say is we're going to first um, define a number n, and n will get random.randint, which is a function within the random library. And we want it to generate some random number between 1 and 9. So uh, just to comment this out, generates uh, random int between 1 and 9. So now that we've got a random number, uh, we will declare some value uh, g, and g uh, is the um, user's guess. Uh, the next thing I will do is declare uh, num g which will also be set to zero, and that will be the number of guesses made by user. And after we do that, um, what I'm gonna be doing for testing is print n, um, and that's for testing, just so I can get the number immediately. Uh, and uh, finally, what I'm gonna say is print, and then I'm thinking, of a number between 1 and 9, what is it? And we can also say type quit to give up. And so uh, now that we've done that, we've prompted the user to input uh, some information. Um, what I will do is we're going to also implement a while loop, which is a uh, new concept uh, in, uh, we haven't been introduced yet to in Python. Um, what I'll say is while g does not equal quit, we will enter our while loop and I will say uh, g gets string input and uh, I'll just uh, leave the input blank but you do need to put something inside. Uh, if g is quit, we will print out you gave up after, and we have to convert uh, num g to stir. So num g guesses, and then provide a sad face because that's sad. Uh, and then we are going to break from our while loop. And so break um, is not the best programming uh, practice to use, but uh, I use it, so, so we'll just go with it. Um, so now what we're interested in doing is um, actually looking at if G is indeed equivalent to N, which was the random number that the computer guessed. So we will convert G back from a a string back into an integer value and we will say that if g is uh, less than n then we will say print too low and we are also going to use the increment operator uh, which if you view C++, you'll know it's equivalent to plus plus, but in Python, it looks like this. So we will take numg and we will increase it by one. So numg plus equals one, and this is to increment 
the number of guesses. And uh, what we're going to do next is we're going to say l if, which is Python's way of saying else if, if int g is uh, greater than n, sorry, we're going to print too high. And we're also going to again increment numg and uh, else, or we can also say elif, if int g is n, if the user actually guessed the correct uh, integer value, we're going to print, uh, we're going to convert it stir n, concatenate is right, you got it in stir num, oops, sorry, you got it in stir num g guesses. And we are going, going to break from this. And so the whole point is we only have break if the users got the right answer or if they typed in quit, but we do not have break. Uh, we do not do not um, implement our terminate condition uh, if that's not the case. And uh, so another thing I'll just do here is convert, make sure that all of our Gs in our uh, numerical comparisons are indeed integer values. And so we'll now run this code and check if it actually works. And so it does not, and because I forgot the semicolon, or just the colon, <laughs> and I'll need more semicolons because I've been forgetting those all along the way. So that's good, that's good, that's good. Okay, so now if we run our code, and uh, I'm gonna guess four, it's too high. I'm going to guess one. It's too low. I'm going to guess three. And it got it. So um, it tells me I was able to determine this in two guesses. Um, however, I had to guess three times. So what I need to do is modify the last condition here to make sure that I increment num g in uh, this condition as well. And so if we uh, test this code again. If I guess one, I guessed one guess. If I guessed nine, I guessed a second guess. I guessed eight, still too high. And then I guessed seven. Um, that was four guesses and it is now correct. And so uh, this concludes how we're able to use while loops uh, in Python as well as um, you know, the break conditions and con um, that other good stuff. Uh, as well as introducing the random library in Python. And uh, to make the game a little bit more fun, I should probably delete out that line of code. And uh, finally, just to make it a little nicer, we'll do that and we can run our code. And I'll guess one, I'll guess nine, I'll guess seven. Wow, I got it. Okay, so so that's it. So that is the guessing game in Python. And uh, I hope you guys find this useful. Let me know if you have any questions. And uh, thanks for watching.